A very good evening to all of you and welcome to Baiju's exam prep, the most comprehensive preparation app for all exams. So we are starting a series and the name of the series is 500 most expected CMAT GK sections. So uh, right now in today's class we'll be having a current affairs. So in the future upcoming session we'll be having both current affairs and static GK and all. So uh, yes, you should subscribe to our channel for that as well. Uh, so that whenever we'll be coming up with the video, you will get the notification. So let's start the questions. I will be giving you questions as well as I will be actually uh, teaching you something in between also in the same class so that uh, the important topics or important knowledge you will get. Uh, which of the following team has won its fifth FIFA? Actually, FIFA Club World Cup title happened in 2023 uh, held in uh, Abdullah Rab uh, Stadium, Rabat, Morocco. Morocco is a country in Africa. I hope you are aware. So you have to tell me which of the following team won this. Your options are Real Madrid, Al Hilal, Al Feha, Al Vehda, Flamingo. Please keep on answering it. Yes, good evening, guys. Yes, yes, Patel. Uh, we'll be having some more sessions. So hopefully, yes, you will be able to solve that much at least. Right? Yes, the right answer is option A. Real Madrid is the right answer to this question. I hope you are aware. Madrid is the capital of Spain. Right? So A is the right answer to this question. Uh, just have an idea. You can see Real Madrid claimed their fifth FIFA Club World Cup uh, beating Al Hilal 5 to 3 in Rabat. Rabat is the capital of Morocco, which is actually a country in Africa. Okay. Yes. So you should be knowing it. <clears throat> now the next one is question number two, which says in February this year, which state police will be get, given President's Color Award for their outstanding service to the nation? Your options are Uttar Pradesh, Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh. Haryana, Madhya Pradesh. What is the right answer to this question? <coughs> the President's Color Award is an award which is given to the state police force. So this time it has been given to which state? Uh, so yes, very good Aman, very good. Uh, D is the right answer, Aman Mishra is right. D is the right answer to this question. So this time it has been given to Haryana, state of Haryana. And what is the capital of Haryana? I hope you are aware, Chandigarh, which is actually the capital of Punjab as well and the union territory as well. So the right answer is D is the right answer. Aditya Mahajan, Khodidas, Parth, you all are right. Okay, uh, the next one is question number three. And question number three actually says, what is the theme of 14th edition of Aero India show? This is important. Which was inaugurated by PM Modi in Bangalore on 30th February. Your options are conceive, indigenize, collaborate, in stride with the future, the run away to a billion opportunities, Art Nirvar Bharat in defense to next level, path to pride. Very, very important. Please answer it. <clears throat> yes, Vignesh, you can guess it. No problem. Yes, huh? answer it. Yes, the right answer actually is the run away to a billion opportunities. C is the right answer. Aman Mishra, very good. So C is the right answer. Actually, it became very, very famous. You can see this was actually, I have taken it from the official website. Uh, agar aap dekhoge. Uh, here it is written, na, na, the runway to a billion opportunity. Na, runway is actually the runway for the plane and all. Na, se naam hai. So just have an idea about that. Uh, the next one is question number four. Yes, many people have answered. See, you all are right. You know what we answered. Yeah. Uh, the next is question number four, which says tennis player Wu Yibing has defeated John Ishner to secure ATP, Madlab, Association of Tennis Professional, uh, to a title at Dallas Open. He is associated with which country? Wu Yibing is associated with which, which country? Japan, South Korea, Indonesia, China, Switzerland. What is the right answer to this question? Kaise <clears throat> uh, The right answer actually to this question is D. China is the right answer to this question. Yes, Aman Mishra. Very good. Uh, Aman Mishra is answering it very perfectly. Yes, D is the right answer to this question. So Wu Yibing is actually from China. Hana. So you can see it here, Wu Yibing becomes first Chinese man to win ATP title with Dallas Open. So since he's the first one, so that is why it becomes even important. So just say first Magar aata hai, thoda se important zyada ho jata hai. Yes, Aditya Bohan, Pranav, Bodhidas, you all were right. D is the right answer to this question. Uh, the next is in February this year, which of the following non-profit environment organizations signed an MOU? Uh, so MOU is nothing but Memorandum of Understanding. Uh, you can understand a sort of an agreement, very similar to an agreement. Okay. With the UNDP, that is United Nations Development Program, to eliminate plastic pollution in oceans and rivers around the globe. So UNDP ke saath kisne mil karke in to eliminate plastic pollution ki baat kahi hai. Four ocean, ocean conservancy, 
पैसिफिक गार्बेज क्लीनिंग ओशन क्लीन ऑफ ग्रीन पीस वॉट इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन देखो थोड़ा सा अगर आप अप्लाई करो जैक आई सजेस्ट यू वन मोर थिंग दिस इज बिंग टॉक अबाउट ओशन है ना सो प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ दैट ऑप्शन टू बी करेक्ट इज मोर वेयर द वर्ड ओशन इज मैं यहाँ पे यहाँ पे एंड यहाँ पे ओशन वर्ड मैं है ना सो प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ ए बी और सी गेटिंग राइट इज हाई Uh, because yes, this is how the names are actually given. So uh, I'm just telling you how to actually mark Tukka in the examination if you do not know. Yes. So D is the right answer to this question. UNDP and Ocean Cleanup team up to tackle plastic pollution. So D is the right answer to this question. Okay. Yes. Yes, Neeraj Gajera <coughs> will be coming in the uh, upcoming sessions. Because Sunday or Tuesday, come logi session over here na 9 p.m. pe. So very soon, maybe this week or from the next week onwards. We will be coming over the static content as well. ठीक है अभी मैं क्या कर रहा हूं कि I am covering till from October, November, December, January, February, March तक complete करा के फिर static पर आ जाऊंगा ठीक है So what you do is you follow all my classes. हम लोग एक separate playlist बना हुआ है There is a separate playlist for that. If you watch all the sessions, then you will not be able to miss uh, any current affairs or a static portion. ठीक है Yes. <coughs> okay. The next is the first frozen lake marathon of India was organized at where? so <clears throat> where there is a frozen lake means when the lake in winter actually gets frozen so in that you can say walk on it and a marathon so it was actually done in pangong so ladakh yes e is the right answer aman misha par pranav gishan you all are right e is the right answer to this question pangong so lake comes in the news again and again i hope you all are aware of uh, uh, the reasons dekho ye those ye ho gaya na frozen ho gaya so here actually you will find this is ladakh union territory somewhere here actually you will find this pangong so lake Pangong so which is actually half in India and half in China so just have an idea about it this is you are looking at ah so this is Pangong so lake okay yes uh, let's move on further to the next one the question number seven name the Indian institution that has been ranked thirty ninth globally in Financial Times so this is a newspaper from UK uh, global MBA ranking twenty twenty three so from India's rank it is rank one but yes at the world level it is thirty ninth rank and what is the right answer. any expected date i cannot say i cannot comment chirag i am also waiting for that date hai na yes uh, the right answer to this question actually is isb hyderabad i hope you are aware of it this is very famous institute for iim and all so a is the right answer to this question theek okay? hai so just have an idea okay uh, on isb only indians be score in top 50 of ft global mba ranking means financial times global mba ranking so just have an idea a is the right answer yes Okay, uh, the next one is uh, question number eight, which says in February this year under the chairmanship of whom the Ministry of Shipping formed a committee to draft uh, uh, the revised guideline for the operation of Roro and Ropax service. So this is actually uh, nothing but uh, a sort of a steamer ship. Ferry service होता है मतलब steamer ship type का थोड़ा सा big steamer ship you can say, not very large. I mean not uh, not as large as ship, but it is smaller than a ship you can say. so under whose chairmanship this has been operationalized so the right answer to this question actually is a chairman deen dial port authority so under his chairmanship uh, this committee has been set up so this is actually let me show you ye isko kehte hain ropax service is tarah ka theek hai ye ship nahi hota roro service ya ropax service kehte hain it is not a ship uh, it is not a boat beach ka something can say na it's between a um, ship and a boat theek hai so that's called as ropax service and all Uh, the next one is in February IIT and the student Niyati Totala uh, and Neel Kalpesh Kumar Parikh were awarded prestigious Global Best MGov Awards 2023 at World Government Summit in Dubai UAE. They were awarded for what? Khayati app, No Waste app, Block Bill app, Don't Waste app, Farmit app. Kis app ki wajah se unko ye wala award mila? What is the right answer to this question? Koi bata sakta hai? Waiting for the answers. So actually, the right answer to this question is they have made a block bill app. So C is the right answer to this question for which they have got this award. You can see it here. So this is uh, Egyptian president, right? Uh, his name is Mr. You can say Abdul Fattah Al Sisi, right? And I hope you are aware he was the chief guest in India this year on 26 January 2023. Mr. Abdul Fattah Al Sisi, the Egyptian president, was the chief guest in uh, the Republic Day this year. so it is very very important also theek okay? hai so he is giving the award to these two indians hai na so just have an idea see is the right answer to this question yes block bill app is a blockchain app uh, 
based receipt generation of that generates digital receipts for users. Okay, the next one is who among the following will replace incumbent President Muhammad Abdul Hamid to be elected as new president of Bangladesh. Incumbent ka bata bata sitting, hai na? current. Current president of Bangladesh will be replaced by whom? Muhammad Shahbuddin Shupu, H. Uh, M. Kustafa Kamal, Nurul Majid Mahmood Humayu, Asaduddin Zama, uh, Zahid Malik. Malik. What is the right answer? So the right answer to this question is Muhammad Shahbuddin Shupu. A is the right answer to this question. Just have an idea about it. These are important ones. Okay. Uh, let's move on further to the next one. Anna. And who is the Prime Minister by the way of Bangladesh? Can anyone tell me? So the Prime Minister of Bangladesh is Sheikh Hasina. Okay, just be aware of that. This is also an important fact. Uh, the next is according to the Directorate General of Civil Aviation, India has approved its aviation safety oversight ranking. In this, what is the current ranking of India? Uh, according to ICAO, International Civil Aviation Organization. So according to this, what is India's rank in civil aviation safety? Aviation safety means Hawaii Jahaz ki safety. Mein. What is India's rank in aviation safety? So the right answer actually is a B55 is the right answer to this question. Take Aman Misha, you all are right. B is the right answer to this question. Take it. Okay, yes. Uh, Aman, uh, yes, Sheikh Hasina is the uh, actually Prime Minister of uh, Bangladesh, right? India jumps to 55th place in ICEO's aviation safety oversight ranking DGCSAs. Take it. International Civil Aviation Organization is headquartered at Montreal, Quebec. Uh, just have an idea about that. Yes, Aditya Parth, Podidas, you all are right. <coughs> Vignesh, keep, uh, go to the playlist. Okay? In the playlist, we have discussed all the sessions. Go and watch each and every session of current affairs as well as the static. Okay? We'll be coming up with more static session as well. People were demanding. So, do, do not bother. We'll be coming up with those sessions as well. Okay? Okay. And there is DGCA, Directorate General of Civil Aviation, which is responsible for handling all the civil aviation related matter in India. Okay. So it is of course under Civil Ministry of Civil Aviation. <coughs> okay, the next is in February this year, which of the following Indian Airlines signed an agreement, very, 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 very important, with Airbus SE and Boeing company for the largest purchase of jetliners in commercial aviation history. <coughs> Your options are Indigo, SpiceJet, Air Arabia, Air India, Akasa Air. What is the right answer to this question? Very, very important, guys. Uh, the right answer is Air India. And for the past two years, Air India has been very much in the news. So uh, that is why I'm telling you these are very important. This is the right answer. Let me tell you more about Air India. The first thing is they go, Air India signs agreement with Airbus, Boeing, and these are American company for largest purchase in history. Yes. Now you can see Boeing 787, 10, uh, Boeing 7779 is aircraft and all these will be bought. Now, <clears throat> can you tell me what is the mascot? Uh, this is actually the mascot of Air India. So please tell me what is the name of the mascot of Air India? And I'll be telling you some history about Air India because it has been very much in the news. And that is why Air India is very, very important this year. Okay, let me tell you. First, it was established in 1932. And it was actually founded by Mr. J.R.D. Tata, Jamshed Ji Tata, as Tata Airlines. Jamshed Ji Tata was the founder of Tata. Okay. Now, what happened was in 1953, around 1950s, I think it is 1953, it was nationalized. What is the meaning of nationalized? Nationalized means taken over by government of India. Okay, so it was now owned by government of India after that uh, from Tata Airlines, government of India bought it. Now, last year it was in the news, uh, uh, almost around 21 to 22, it was in the news for, it was again Tata bought it back, bought back Air India from government, right? At what price? At 18,000 crore rupees, 18,000 crore rupees. This is very, very important. Because for the past one or two years, Tata Air, Air India is coming and the news again and again. Okay? Yes. <clears> okay? <throat> okay, fine. So now Air India's majority share is with Tata. And the chairman of Tata is Mr. N. Chandra Shekharan. And he is now the chairman of Tata as well as chairman of Air India as well. Yes? So this is very, very important fact. Now people were asking, is there a static? You tell me, it's a static fact. Yes, but now it is one or two year old. So it can be asked in current affairs as well as in a static. Okay? Now, this is its mascot and this is called as Maharaja. 
someone were asking uh, someone is writing right yes kodidas neeraj aditya you all were right so maharaja is actually the <clears throat> mascot of air india now can you tell me recently an airline company has decided to merge with air india and uh, that airline company uh, i mean i am writing it xyz has uh, i mean singapore has uh, uh, singapore's company has also share with this what is the name of that xyz can you tell me so the name of actually xyz is vistara airline so vistara airline actually has decided to merge with air india na so that is why this is also an important fact and you must be knowing it these are the small, small basic fact but for the past one or two years if you read it if you are reading carefully air india is coming in the news again and again and that is why i am highlighting you for this now one more small information is about akasa air this was launched last year last year around i think august and uh, and this was uh, one of the biggest uh, shareholder you can see was Ra mr rakesh junjuwala i hope you are aware of him he died last year after the inauguration of this airline he died after few weeks and he was actually a very famous stock market uh, stock market expert and he was called as varen buffet of india and all i hope you are aware of that as well so that is why we are discussing these important thing yes vistara very good prakriti aditya vibhav chinmay agriha kishan you all were right theek hai to iska answer hai d is the right answer to this question theek hai yes okay <clears throat> the next one is <clears throat> Uh, this is not very important. I am skipping it. See here. Uh, the next is uh, question number fourteen. Which of the following is not a G twenty member, guys? G twenty is very, very, very important. I would say, and the reason is because this year we will be having G twenty. So both static as well as current affairs can be asked from here. Okay. So static is when was G twenty formed? Okay, go and read it. So initially it was only finance minister and central bank governors used to meet. now even the prime minister and president is meeting so when this started changing so when uh, what is g20 troika go and read about this the last g20 summit happened where the next g20 summit is happening where this year the g20 summit is happening where i hope you all are aware they go so g20 summit this year has been happening in india which of the following is not a g20 member so the right answer is new zealand is not a member so c is the right answer yes mamta kodidas Kishan, Prakriti, Sahana, Ranjan, uh, Aman, Misha, you all right? C is the right answer. The red ones are actually the G20 members. You can see this is Brazil. The important one I am highlighting. This is India. This is Australia. Here is New Zealand. New Zealand is not a member, na na. Here is Russia. Here is US. Here is Canada. ठीक है. This one is Mexico. This one is Argentina. This one is South Africa. ठीक है. This one is Saudi Arabia. This one is Turkey. okay this one is china so even china is also a member of it so uk and uh, france okay so these are germany italy so these are the members now last year here is indonesia so the last year g20 summit happened in indonesia in bali right 2022 and this year in 2023 it is happening in india delhi most likely and uh, 2023 so that is why you must be knowing important facts about g20 so go and read it so these are 19 nations i have told you plus entire european union is equal to g20 this is how the g20 is 19 nation plus entire european european union is g20 so these are 19 nations i have put it in front of you so after the class is over just go through it because maybe they can ask question g20 is very much in the news to wo sawal bilkul pooch sakte hain ki which of the following is not a member which of the following is a member or something like that so uh, the aap dekh sakte ho so last to last year 2021 may italy mem uh, head tha 2022 may Indo indonesia hai and this year is india will be the head hai na or india will be the host of that theek hai okay so uh, this is uh, about it and the next year brazil will be the head 2024 hai na aap dekho so three are important indonesia last year this year is india and the next year is brazil and these three are together called as g20 troika so let me write with yellow pen these three are called as g20 troika G20 Troika means the G20 summit. Uh, uh, I mean the ho host of last year's G20 summit, this year G20 summit, and future year G20 summit. These three together are called as G20 Troika. T R O I K. Troika means three, right? So these are the basic facts can be asked in exam, and that is why I am explaining these things. Okay? Yes. 
Okay, before that, there's a small announcement. We are having, uh, I hope you are aware, these are the CAT 2022 toppers. So if, if they can qualify, you can also. Yes. So uh, it's a CAT comprehensive program, 300 plus engaging videos, 135 plus live sessions, 75 plus mock tests we are providing. How to manage CAT preparation with job studies uh, with fourth, uh, with Saral Nasir, uh, Saral Nasir sir at 4th uh, April at 7 p.m. So the link is given in the description from where you can register for this class. And please download the app. Go to CAT section. We discuss a lot of daily section wise uh, quiz also and attempt those that will be very beneficial. And from 6th April onwards, we'll be having this session 500 most expected CAT question. So please subscribe to the channel. We'll be having more such session. So niche subscribe kar dena. Okay. Yes. Now the next is since we are talking about G20 summit, this is very, very important. The motto of G20 summit, which is going to be held in India, that is 2023 is Satmev Jayate Vasudev Kutumakam Atmandipu Bhava Sarva Bhavantu Sukina. What is the right answer to this question? Sabko like button press karte jao guys. Everyone please press the like button. Or niche subscribe ka, uh, ka button diya hua. Usko bhi subscribe kar dena. G20 summit is uh, the motto of this would be yes. Radhavin uh, Aman Misha you are right. Vasudev Kutumakam is the right answer to this question. Which means one earth, one family, one future. So B is the right answer. Yes. Khodidas Kishan Aditya you are right. Now, this, this is a question which is slightly on a tougher side, but I am giving you uh, in order to know whether you can answer or not. Vasudev Kutumbakam, which is actually the uh, motto of G20 summit, has been taken from which book? Your options are Maha Upanishad, Katha Upanishad, Chandayog Upanishad, Mandukya Upanishad. Kaha mentioned hai? Yes. So, Vasudev Kutumbakam has been taken from which book? Koon se kitab se liya gaya? So you should be knowing these things. Yes, uh, Maha Upanishad is the right answer to this question. So you can see from the Wikipedia page it is written, Hana Maha Upanishad, which means the world is one family, A is the right answer. Yes, Kishan Lala Aditya Saurabh, you are right, A is the right answer to this question. Now, this question I have already explained this uh, when I was teaching it. So G20 Summit this year is happening in India. Last year the G20 Summit happened where? I have told you. So this year it is happening in India. Last year it happened in Indonesia. And in future, it will be in the next year, it will be happening in Brazil, right? So here the right answer is this. And these three are uh, defined as G20 Troika, right? So you should be knowing it. B is the right answer. Yes. Aman, Radhavin, yes, you all are right, huh? Sadmir Jate has been taken from Mundago Panishad, right? Uh, Radhavin, correct, huh? And so last year, this was the theme. Uh, yes, here is Indonesia and here is Bali, where actually uh, the last year summit happened. Yeah, right? Okay, uh, the next one is question number 18. Who among the following will become the first woman astronaut from Saudi Arabia to go on mission? Amelia Schoenwald, Nicola Winter, Sara Garcia Honso, Anthea Comilla, and Rihanna Barnavi. What is the right answer to this question? First woman astronaut from Saudi Arabia to go to space. So the right answer is Deko. I'll tell you. Uh, this is a Saudi Arabia is uh, uh, primarily. Uh, Deko, I'm just telling you because it helps in elimination. Primarily a Muslim nation. So see the name which is, uh, I mean, Arabic or Urdu type word. So if you see it carefully, these are not, these are English words, right? Anna, or Western names. So this appears to be slightly Arabic type name. Now why I'm telling you, this logic uh, not always works. But in 70-80% cases, if you try to reach in this logic, many of the options are eliminated. Anna. Uh, although it is not always true, this logic uh, does not work all the time. But yes, why I'm telling you, because these types of logic works in examination many times. Even if it is working in 70% of the cases, it is very beneficial. Okay, so do this way, what can happen in Saudi Arabia, so this can be the more options, more chances and all. So meet Rayana Barnavi, Saudi Arabia's first woman to go into space and all. Okay. Uh, the next question is, what is the name of the Saudi Arabia's first woman to go into space and all? Okay. The next one is in February this year, which of the following state government launched a monthly stipend scheme uh, for junior lawyers? Rupees 3000 will be provided. Okay, so junior lawyers will be provided 3000 rupees monthly, uh, per month. So which state? Look, it's not logic nahi laga sakto because it is, uh, you cannot eliminate option like that. And so what is the right answer to this question? Uh, if you know it, uh, the right answer is Kerala. So C is the right answer to this question. So just have an idea about it. Anna. So Kerala Chief Minister, Mr. Pinarayu Vijayan has announced this 3000 rupees for young lawyers and all. Uh, the next one is which of the following is the first edition of Women's Premier League? This is very, very important and very, very easy. Probability of a question from WPL is very high. Uh, so the right answer is yes, 2023, of course, first women's premier league, 
is being organized for the first time this year. Yes, many people are right. C is the right answer to this question. And uh, five teams will be there. Uh, uh, aapko ye batana hai ki which team actually won the final? Can anyone tell me? And the final happened between which two uh, team? So basically the final happened between these two teams. So Mumbai Indians versus Delhi Capitals. And Mumbai Indians won it. So the first winner of Women's Premier League is Mumbai Indians. Please be aware of it. This is very, very important. The player of the series, Vishal Puchle, maybe. So the right answer is yes, Mumbai Indians. Very good. And who, uh, I mean, which of the following Indian women's cricket player became the most expensive women's player uh, in this year auction? Women's Premier League auction. Sabse highest bid kin tha? So, matlab, sabse uh, expensive. And these are your options. IPL League, Women's IPL, Pranav. We are talking about Women's IPL. Women's Premier League. Yes, be careful. Huh? 2023 mein pehla hua tha. Yes. And who was actually the most expensive women's player? So the right answer is Smriti Mandana from India. Yes, Path, Agrima, Kodidas, you all are right. B is the right answer. From which ho sakta team ka naam puch le? So Royal Challengers Bangalore. RCB. For how much rupee? 3.4 crore rupees. Thikhe? So that is why you must be knowing it. Thikhe? Thikhe? So puch sakta 3.4 crore Smriti Mandana and all. Uh, the next is International Mother Language Day is on which day? 11th February 17th, 22, 21st. Mother Language Day. This is observed by UNESCO and all. Anna. International Mother Language Day is on 21st February. So D is the right answer to this question. Just have an idea about that. Okay. So uh, 21st February ko International Mother Language Day manaya jata hai. Anna. And what was the theme of International Mother Language Day? So that theme was actually... Uh, this uh, multilingual education a uh, necessary necessity to transform education okay multilingual with a different language hai na? so you can remember multi language multi language so multiple language education and necessity to transform education was the theme so b is the right answer yes aman saurabh you are the right b is the right answer to this question this is from the united nations website hai na? and these are actually the six <coughs> languages of United Nation. Yes, B is the right answer. Yes, Saurabh, Sakshi, Radha, Vinod, Aditya, you all are right. Now, in February this year, I mean, I hope you are aware, on 21st February, International Mother Language Day is celebrated by UNESCO. And UNESCO's International Mother Language Day Award is to be given, was given by PM of Bangladesh, Sheikh Hasina, to whom? I mean, uh, he's an Indian, so that is why it is very, very important. Star market. It was given to whom? Bataiye, kinko diya gaya tha? Uh, the right answer to this question actually is Mahendra, Mr. Dr. Mahendra Kumar Mishra. So he is from Indian origin and that is why it is very, very, very important. So C is the right answer to this question. Yes, Parth, you all are right. C is the right answer. Okay, <clears throat> yes. Eminent linguistic and folklorist from Odisha was given this award. C is the right answer. Radha, Vinod, Kodidas, Chinmay, you all were right. The next is question 25. In February this year, <coughs> the Martin Foundation, Dr. A.P. Abdul Kalam International Foundation and a Space Zone India launched A.P. Abdul Kalam Satellite uh, Launch Vehicle from uh, which place? Chennai, Abdul Kalam Island, Sri Harikota, Govindapura, Trivanantapuram. What is the right answer? <coughs> Kaisi bhi hai? Deko, generally, kya hota hai? Jitne bhi launch satellite launch hoti hai, Sri Harikota se hoti hai. In most of the cases, I mean, 70 to 80 percent cases. The satellite launch happens from Sri Harikota, Satish Dhawan Space Center. But here, actually, the right answer is uh, actually near Chennai. This is the place, Hana. Chengal Pattu is the place actually near Chennai from where this was launched. So, A is the right answer here. Okay, so, here C is correct answer. Hai. Here, the right answer is A. So, whenever something new is there, please try to remember it. Hana. So, A is the right answer to this question. Okay. Launch from Tamil Nadu, Hana. Yes. So, here it is, Hana. Pe, near Chennai. So somewhere here is Chennai or where you can Okay, uh, the next one is question number 26, which is the first G20 meeting of finance minister. See, <coughs> G20 is going to happen in India. So a lot of summit is happening related before that. So G20 finance minister summit, G20 foreign minister summit, G20, uh, B20 summit, business 20 summit, S20, science 20 summit. These A lot of 20, 20, 20 summits would be happening before the main G20 event. So, the finance ministers and central bank governors G20 summit happen in Bangalore in February. Central bank governors means, like for example, in case of India, it is RBI governor. 
So the right answer here is E is the right answer to this question. Take it. Yes. <coughs> Okay, yes. Take up the photo of your photo. And these are beautiful photos. Okay. Uh, the next is India's Rudrangsh Patil won first gold medal at ISSF World Cup in Cairo, Egypt. In which of the following shooting event? 10 meter air rifle, 10 meter air pistol, 50 meter air rifle, 25 meter air pistol, 50 meter air pistol. What is the right answer? Batai? Sabko like button press karte jau. Guys, everyone please press the like button. The right answer is actually 10 meter air rifle. So A is the right answer to this question. Take care. Okay, so just have an idea is the right answer. Okay, so here is Mr. Rudrangsh Patel, this one. Anna. Okay, uh, the next one is for, for, uh, for which year a well-known classical singer Pandit Prem Kumar Malik, uh, he is actually an Allahabad University professor as well, has been given prestigious Sangeet Natak Academy Awards for his contribution in the field of Hindustani vocal music. 2023, 2019, 2020, 22, 21. What is the right answer? So the right answer actually to this question is yes, 2019. Very good, Aman Misha. Very good. So B is the right answer to this question. Anna. He is a professor in Department of Music and Performing Arts at Allahabad University. Oh, there is a department for this also in Allahabad University. Okay. So just have an idea about that. So B is the right answer. Yes. Prakriti, Chinmay, you all are right. B is the right answer. Okay. Okay, uh, the next is which of the following organization has bagged title rights for Women's Premier League? Very, very, very important. So, Women's Premier League happened. So, who was the title sponsor of this? Title rights, Kello, your title sponsor, Kello. Okay, so what was the right answer? Uh, the right answer to this question actually was <coughs> uh, D is the right answer. It was Tata Group. So, you must be knowing it, Hana. So, Tata Group back title rights for Women's Premier League, Hana. It is also the title sponsor of IPL. So, basically, Tata Group becomes the title sponsor of both IPL, means men's IPL as well as women's IPL this year, Hana. So that is what you should be knowing it. Yes, Aditya, Kishan, Prakriti, Chinma, Kishu, you all are right. Uh, the next is name the photographer who won prestigious National Geography Pictures of the Year Award with the photograph titled Dance of the Eagles. Your options are Cindy Sherman, Don McCollum, Karthik Subramaniam, Robert Frank, Vincente Mansoor. What is the right answer to this question? What is the answer to this question? Dance of the Eagle ke liye. Uh, which photographer has got? So Karthik, Mr. Karthik Subramaniam. So he's from Indian origin and that is why it is important as one picture of the year award. Hana. For Dance of the Eagle, to ye hai Dance of the Eagle photo. Hana. Okay, so just have an idea about it. So C is the right answer. Yes, Prakriti, Aditya, Kishan, Sakshi, you all right. C is the right answer. Uh, who among the following has been appointed as the new CEO of Niti Ayog? Okay, and these are your options. See, everyone knows Niti Ayog. Now, there's a chairman. So the chairman of Niti Ayog is the prime minister himself. Whatever you can say chairman or you can say chairperson. Anna. Vice chairman, who is the vice chairman or vice chairperson of Niti Ayog? Can anyone tell me? And who is the CEO? These things you should be knowing. Yes, the right answer is Mr. BVR Subramaniam. D is the right answer. Yes, Aman, Path, Mohan, you all are right. Anna. So PM is the chairperson or chairman, whatever you can say. Uh, Vice Chairperson is Mr. Suman Berry and CEO is BBR Subramaniam. These three are very, 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 very important. So, star market. Okay. Uh, D is the right answer. Yes, Prakriti, Khodidas, Kishu, Pranav, Dhani, you all are right. Uh, the next is question 32. Which of the following actor has been awarded Dada Sai Falke International Film Festival Award? So, this is DPIFF. Okay. This is not Dada Sai Falke Award. That's a different one. This is Dada Sai Falke International Film Festival Award. Okay. In Best Actor category, who has won it? DPIFF Award. In Best Actor category, category who have, uh, yes, Aman Misha, right? So, Mr. Ranbir Kapoor, a very famous Bollywood actor has got it. Yes, Kodi Das, you all are right. Hana. So, B is the right answer to this question. Yes. Ha, Mohan Prakriti, you all are right. And which film has won Best Film Award at DPIFF? Dada Sahib Falke International Film Festival Award. RRR. Jalsa, Bhediya, Kantara, Kashmir Files. What is the right answer? Kya sahi jawab hai? Best Film Award at DPIFF, Dada Sahib Falke International Film Festival Award. The right answer is Kashmir Files. So, E is the right answer to this question. Theek hai? Yes. Yes, huh? So, Kashmir Files is the right answer to this question. Which of the following actress has got Best Actress Award at DPIFF, Dada Sahib Falke International Film Festival Award? 
बेस्ट एक्ट्रेस अवार्ड सो बेस्ट एक्टर इज रणबीर कपूर सो हिज वाइफ एक्चुअली आलिया भट्ट इज एक्चुअली द बेस्ट एक्ट्रेस अवार्ड ठीक है सो जस्ट हैव एन आइडिया अबाउट दैट ठीक है अब देखो दिस इज वॉट वी हैव डिस्कस इज दादा साहेब फाल के इंटरनेशनल फिल्म फेस्टिवल अवार्ड है ना आई हैव टोल यू डी पी आई एफ एफ बेस्ट एक्टर गिवेन टू रणबीर कपूर आई एम राइटिंग इट अगेन रणबीर कपूर बेस्ट एक्ट्रेस गिवेन टू आलिया भट्ट राइट एंड बेस्ट फिल्म इज एक्चुअली कश्मीर फाइल्स राइट ओके नाउ This is called as DPIFF. This is less famous award. The more famous one is called as Dada Saheb Phalke Award. Dada Saheb Phalke Award. Now this is a different award. This Dada Saheb Phalke Award is very prestigious, and this is DPIFF. This is less famous. ठीक है. Now why I'm explaining it because I have seen people getting very easily confused between DPIFF and uh, Dada Saheb Phalke Award. ठीक है. Although the name are same, I mean name of the same personality. but this is a different dada saheb phalke international film festival award is a separate award less famous one but dada saheb phalke award is very famous and it is generally given to one person so the most latest one is of 2020 given last year to whom rajnikanth asha, asha parekh amitabh bachchan vinod khanna so this dada saheb phalke award is very famous one famous one theek hai so it is not dpiff theek hai ye wo wala nahi hai ye dada saheb phalke award hai the main wala jo hai famous one uh so who has got it the most latest one who got it which was actually for 2020 it was given and last year it was given to asha parekh so just have an idea so b is the right answer to this question yes prakriti khodidas part you should be clear yes so the most latest winner is asha parekh unse pehle 2019 mein rajnikanth ko mila tha then 2018 mein amitabh bachchan ko mila tha uh, vinod khanna ko 2017 mein 2016 mein k vishwanath ko 2015 mein manoj kumar ko and all theek hai so the most latest one last year she got asha parekh so the right answer is uh, b is the right answer you must be knowing it because uh, log confuse karte hain is award mein aur is award mein ye wale mein this one mein aur this one mein people get confused that is why i have clarified for you theek hai so this is all about today's class we will be coming up with a static session as well theek hai to tension nahi lena so we'll be covering some covering some current affairs as well mars ka kuch cover karayenge then we will be covering up with uh, the static current affairs as well so do not bother keep us following us but subscribe to the channel प्लेलिस्ट पर जाना यू विल गेट सेपरेट प्लेलिस्ट फॉर द सीमेंट जी के सेक्शन फ्रॉम वेर यू कैन वॉच ऑल माई क्लासेस ठीक है फॉलो ऑन इंस्टाग्राम फेसबुक टेलीग्राम एंड डाउनलोड द बाई जूज एग्जाम प्रेपैप थैंक यू एवरी वन थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग है नाइस डे